Welcome to day 53, and if my first introductory video had not been deleted, you would not be seeing my smiling face right now. And on another note, I'm not including music in today's vlog because some of my viewers have not been able to watch my weight loss vlogs, and I think it's because of the music, so we're just going to try it today for an example. And if any of you have been able to view the weight loss vlog for the first time today and you haven't been able to view it before, please let me know so I know whether it's the music or not. What's up, you guys? Um, it is Saturday, and I'm feeling like I'm going to get some stuff done today. I'm feeling like I'm going to accomplish some tasks around here. You can hear my crazy kids in the back dropping me nuts all day long, all day long, all day long. Uh, hubby just got his lazy butt out of bed. It's almost 11.30 now. I've been up for about two hours. I haven't drank any water. I haven't eaten anything. Bad, 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 bad. I'm going to get my big old 96 ounce, it's not 96 ounces, 32 ounce cup. Uh, I'm going to fill it with water and I'm going to get some breakfast. So, I'm going to have some Blueberry Special K. Um, I really like it with the light soy milk, but since the light soy milk is so much more expensive than the regular milk, and since I really like it in my protein shakes, I think I'm going to save it for my protein shakes and not eat it in my cereal. I think I'm just going to eat the skim milk in my cereal, so I'm going to have one serving of the cereal and half a serving of skim milk, half a cup, and that will be 155 calories. Okay guys, it's time for measurements. Um, I'm sorry that it's a little bit dark in, in here. Uh, I haven't opened up the drapes today and just kind of lazing around still in my pajamas and it's almost noon. Um, but anyway, I did my measurements for you guys and I know that I just did them like five days ago or something, but you know, I'm supposed to be doing them on Saturdays, so I just wanted to get back on schedule. But, although we've had kind of a hard uh, road to sew with the <laughs> weight, um, the inches are looking good. So, on the... Sorry, I keep switching back and forth. I'm trying to, like, get good lighting and everything. Um, so, my bust on the second was uh, 38.5 and today it's 38 so that's half an inch off my chest. My hips on the second were 40.75 inches and today they're 40 and a half so that's quarter of an inch off my hips. My neck is the same at 12.75 um, but down from 13 from the beginning. I guess that's the one I should be telling you mostly about too. And my waist is the same at 30.75, um, but in the beginning it was 31.5, so almost an inch, about three quarters of an inch off my waist total, um, quarter of an inch off my neck total, uh, 1.75, is that what it is? 1.75 inches off my hips total and one and a half inches off my chest total since I started. So measurements are looking good and while I'm on the daily plate right now I'm going to track my food for the day. 
Thank you guys for keeping me accountable. Keep doing it, please. I not only need your encouragement, but sometimes your positive criticism. So I appreciate that. I need help. Well, it is 1 o'clock. Hubby's getting ready to go to work. Madison is watching Peppa Pig. Um, I just got done cleaning the uh, bathroom, which was disgusting and totally cluttered and messy, and I wish I had taken a before and after pic. And what's frustrating is right after I got done to it, my husband went in there and cut his hair all over it. <clears throat> but he cleaned it up, but still, it's like... I'm looking at him like, did you really just do that? Um, but I haven't eaten anything except that cereal. I'm going to have lunch here in a minute. I have not tracked my food yet today, so I'm like kind of afraid to eat anything before I do that. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Hey guys, so I'm eating lunch. It's 125. This is leftover pasta from last night. It's one and a half cups with half a serving of I can't believe it's not better light and half a serving of mozzarella cheese. And I have no idea how many calories it is because I was not meticulous mm -hmm. in preparing it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't and I didn't weigh it or anything, so I have no idea really. So I'm gonna do my best to try to figure out how many calories it is. I would think that it would be about three hundred and fifty, but I'm not sure. Here's a little mummy tip when you have a game with little pieces or small toys that you want to keep together. Um, you can reuse the wipes containers and put your little game in there after the box is all crushed and destroyed. Boy, I'm just full of useful information today, aren't I? Um, I thought I'd show you guys how to create a meal or how I create a meal and how I do that on tracking on my... Um, daily play the application on livestrong.com so I thought I'd show you real quick um, pardon the fact that it is not very nice once you get onto the my plate part of livestrong you're gonna click the my meals tab right here and I've got a lot of meals on here because I've been on this website it used to be its own website and then it got taken over by livestrong.com but I've been on here and creating meals for like three and a three or four years now. Um, so anyway, you can search your meals here or you can create a meal right here. And I'm going to make a chicken stir fry tonight, so I'm going to create the meal. I'm going to create the entire meal. So I'm going to type in here chicken stir fry, but I'm not going to do that right now because it's hard for me to type with one hand. And then I'm going to put in the ingredients, which I'm going to do everything for the entire meal. So I'm going to put some brown rice in here and I want instant brown rice just for examples purposes I'm just going to uh, click whatever okay so it tells me what a serving is I'm going to say um, two cups of rice and then you can select whatever so I, I could leave it at serve at two servings and that would only be one cup but I want two cups so or I could just been put four servings then I'm gonna put chicken breast um, let's just select this and that is for four ounces and let's say I'm gonna use eight ounces so I'll put two servings and then I'm going to use some great value stir fry vegetables. Just say right here. And let's say I use, I don't even know how many servings is in a bag, but let's say I use four servings, um, which would be what? Like, what is that? Um. Honey, I'm vlogging. That would be three cups of vegetables. Okay, this is without any seasonings or sauces or anything. And then I'm going to hit create meal. That's going to give me the total calories and the, the whole spiel. Oh, after I put stir fry. Stir fry? Then I'm going to hit create meal. This is taking a lot of time. 
Okay, so then it gives me my whole calories here, right? Which is really good, only 980 calories for the entire meal. Well, here's what I do from there. When I create the entire meal, I'm going to weigh the entire meal, and then I'm going to write that down somewhere. Um, I like to create spreadsheets on Excel for just about everything. So this is an old spreadsheet that I had for different recipes that I had made. Um, their weight raw, and then their weight, their total weight prepared, and then I just had some notes over here. So I would just make a note of how many uh, grams the entire meal weighed, and then when I took my portion, then I would weigh that portion, and then I would calculate what um, fraction of that entire serving size it was. Oh man, I was so tired. After I put the baby down for a nap, I just like sat here and I just like, I guess that pasta just like made me go into a little bit of a food coma. But then I got up and I decided to go back into my coupon cove and uh, go through some old inserts and I got rid of a bunch from like January that I still had. Uh, so just going through coupons and stuff, making lists for my drugstore shopping day tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to make it a habit to go grocery shopping either Thursday or Friday and then go drugstore shopping you know, at the beginning of the week whenever I can. I'd like to do it on Sunday, but sometimes that's not feasible. But tomorrow I'm going to try to get up early and go before church. And um, so I got some energy back, but my back hurts real bad now since I was sitting there working. I have back problems ever since I was in the military. And so it's hard for me to do some things. And sitting for long periods of time, like sitting up or standing for long periods, whatever. My back hurts. And um, so that was the last thing I ate was the spaghetti. And I did track uh, quite a bit of food, but I didn't track all my food yet. I have to uh, kind of tweak that stir fry recipe that I was showing you guys a little bit. And then I'm going to eat a snack here in a few minutes. Probably. So this is my unhealthy snack, but you know, I have been craving this jalapeno jelly forever, and I have to have this like light cream cheese to be able to enjoy this snack. And the other cream cheese that I had had been frozen, so it was ruined. And I just found this back in my back fridge, and it's so good, and it wasn't frozen, so I was like, yes, I want that. So if my calculations are correct, this is about 180 calories. Hi, Alana. Hi. You want a cracker? Yes, I cracker too. Okay. I don't think I told you what this was. It's whole wheat roots crackers. One third less fat, Philadelphia, whatever cheese. I can't pronounce it. And that is one tablespoon of jalapeno jelly. Which I know what you're thinking. That's disgusting. Jalapeno jelly, what is that? And that's what I thought too until about six months ago when I tried it and I was like yum and I tried it just like this I think I had different crackers but it's spicy and it's sweet at the same time and along with the cheese it's just creamy and yummy so that's what it is I'll tell you one thing I miss those days that I could just call and order pizza for the kids and just not have to worry about it here's the, be here's the beginning of the chicken stir fry I put in a uh, half a pound of Bone with skinless cut up chicken breast into one teaspoon of canola oil. Now I'm going to add my big bag of sugar snap stir fry. This has 180 calories for the whole bag. I think it's pretty needless to say that I won't be uh, buying great value stir fry vegetables anymore. I mean, it's pretty obvious ever since I started couponing that I can get name brand stuff for cheaper than I can get all off-brand anyway, but those vegetables looked disgusting because they were freezer burnt beyond belief and I haven't had them for that long. So, yeah, I don't know if it's going to taste very good, but I'm going to put some of this in it. Uh, it has 25 calories for one tablespoon, so I'm probably going to put in maybe, maybe, I don't know, three or four tablespoons. And then I might add a little bit of this too. This has 15 calories for one tablespoon and it has a 
50% less sodium than regular soy sauce. And I'm gonna, I've got to start my uh, instant brown rice. So I ended up putting, I ended up draining off some of the water from all the ice that was in that ve those vegetables, and I ended up adding four tablespoons or Madison or one uh, quarter cup of that marinade to this, and I'm starting the water for my rice. Okay, it's all done. Uh, since I'm going to have to put this in a bowl anyway, uh, to put it in the fridge, the leftovers, I'm going to do as I told you guys earlier, and I'm going to measure uh, the weight of the entire meal, and then I'm going to measure my portion so that I'll know what percentage of the entire meal on my calorie tracker that I'm eating. So the whole thing is 461, and there's two ways that I can do this. I can look at the total number of calories and then I can decide how much I'm allowed to have or I can just choose to eat however much I'm going to eat and then take that off the calorie counter. I'm going to do the first one so I'm going to make sure that the recipe is correct on the daily plate and then I'll show you. Okay, so I updated the uh, recipe and it's 560 for the entire little stir fry thing that I just did. And uh, so I'm going to go back to my plate, and I'm going to see how many calories I have left. Okay, so after I've tracked um, all the food that I've eaten, which I didn't do ahead of time, but at least I did before I put any dinner in my mouth, and I've tracked one serving of the instant uh, brown rice, half a cup, then I am left, and I already have a dessert tracked, um, half a cup, of this whole fruit mango sorbet that I bought yesterday. I have 188 calories left for the day. So, I'm going to go to my meals. I'm going to search for the stir fry. I'm going to select it. And then I've got 560. So then I'm just going to figure out how much I can have. First I'm going to divide it by four. And I can have a little bit more than a quarter of it, so then I'll divide it by three. Looks like I can have a third of it. So, whatever I just weighed it at, I can have a third of that number, and I'll be right on my calories. So now that I know that I'm allowed a third, then I put in the total amount of grams of the meal, divided by three. I know I can eat 154 grams of that meal. I just wanted to say that another easy way to figure out what your serving size should be if you have a certain number of calories left, for instance the 560 and I had 183 left, would be to just divide 560 by the amounts of calories that you would like to eat and then you'll be left with a number and in this case I have 3.1 so then I would just take one as the whole meal divided by uh, 3.1 and and then I will be left with 0.32. So I will be allowed 0.32 of that meal. And if you take um, the total number of grams, which was 461, and you multiply that by 0.31, then you'll be left with 142. So that's the amount of grams of the meal that I can have to get exactly the 183 calories that I need. Yes, I know it seems a little anal, and it is. But once you get used to doing it that way, it's really pretty easy because you're already going to have the meal created, and you're going to know exactly what to throw in, and then um, you just weigh it and then calculate it. And, um, you know, if you want to be precise, that's the way that I do it. So I'm going to go eat. Man. What an up and down day. Now I'm dead dog tired again. <sighs> Maybe I'm getting sick. Because the kids are sick and I notice that when I'm getting sick I get like really, really tired, fatigued. Anyway. Um, so I just finished eating dinner. And I don't feel like I ate that much today. But... I've already eaten all my calories, I mean, except for the sorbet that I told you I already tracked for this evening. Um, tracked ahead. Yeah. I didn't completely track ahead, but I did pretty well. 
I don't know if I told you all or not, but my weight this morning was 171.4. So we're right back to where we were the day before yesterday. Uh, still up from the day before that. Alright, so this is my half of a cup of uh, mango sorbet. Uh, 450 calories, and that's it for my eating for the night. Thank you all for watching. Sorry it's been such a long vlog tonight. Um, and I will see you tomorrow.